right, so day one in the Jeep vendor area. We're uh, gonna walk around here, check out, see what uh, stuff for JK's jails they offer. I highly doubt they're gonna offer much stuff for CJ's, but let's uh, look here. Let's look around here and see what we can find. So I got the uh, JLU and the JT back there, both Rubicons. Both very nice Jeeps. What I got my own though is this uh, brute style JK conversion, maybe. Looks pretty sweet. Looks like it has a different front end, front clip. Oh, that's that's cool. It's got the old Gladiator J series from the 60s front clip. That's that's sweet. I like that a lot. I was on Ultimate Adventure 2020. Check that out. Another JK, dime a dozen. Go to the next one. Oh, that's a clean little JL Rubicon. That's nice. This is MF Magnaflow, or Magnaflow, that makes sense. So this is the Magnaflow booth. Track and trail off-road with another JKU. Looks like it's on, I don't even know what front axle that is. It's beefy though. Curry Enterprises JLU. It looks like a Dana 60 up front. That's, that's pretty slick. Worn bumper. Here's the Overland setup, JT. It's got the rack on the back. I love these lots. I was looking for those the other day for my truck. Looks like they're BD. Let's see what it says. Baja Designs, that makes sense. Baja Designs lot. It's got the Jerry or Roto Packs on it. It's automatic, it's kind of a bummer. But the A-speed automatic, I've been told it's pretty good. That's super slick. Radflow.com, here's another JLUR, Rubicon, Warren Winch, Factor 55. That's, that's pretty slick. And another eight-speed. Everybody's got eight-speeds nowadays. I can kind of relate though, on my way in. I was in a lot of stop and go traffic with my pretty stiff clutch and my left legs wore out. Another JLU Rubicon. Looks like some more of those lots. I like those too. Those are the non-amber one. Those are the standard Baja designs. I hate to know how much those cost. Ooh, Ruba trucks. That's a hell of an engine. Oh, can't say that on YouTube. That's a nice engine. There's more of your typical mall crawler, JT, Ruba truck style. I'm sure it's got a big engine in it though. There's another Ruba trucks built. JLU. That's sweet. Looks like it's got the power top. Ruba trucks again. I, I love the color of this thing. This one's probably one of my favorite so far. Let's see if it's a stick. No, automatic again. Something about those automatics. Man, looks like it's got a uh, Hellcat in it. It's even cooler. That's an easy 100, 150,000 right there for the Jeep in itself. Is that another one? That's a, yeah, there's an Unlimited, an LJ. That's sweet. I bet it's a stick. Nope, they're wrong. There's another Rubicon JLU. Tons of JLs and JTs this year. This must be the Warren booth. Yep, this is the Warren booth. If you ever come to these events, you can get tons of koozies and just a lot of free merchandise type stuff because the uh, people that sponsor these events want to give you their product and something that's on their product so you'll buy it. So I've got a, a huge collection of koozies, but I don't mind it. So I can, I can get a 24 pack and still have multiple koozies left over and I can put one on each, each beer. Oh, that's got an LS3 in it. That JT over here. That's slick. Oh, that is nice. 
These Baja Designs lots are very popular this year. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Looks like a JK, JLU, somewhere around in there with the uh, Gladiator clip on it. Well, I don't know. I think I like the, the truck build a little better. This is clean, super clean. Bruiser conversions. That is nice. It's got the old Wagoneer style sides. And it's automatic and it's definitely a, a JKU conversion. Looking on the interior. Another JT Rubicon. Here's a pretty slick JKU. Drop Bear JK. That is, I've never seen side mirrors like that. It's interesting. And another automatic. Got the power tanks in the back. From Georgia, flexing on this other Jeep. American the JK. All right, somebody from North Carolina. It's right over from where I'm from, Tennessee. It's like another JKU. It's on 40s. Wow. Weight tower speakers in the back. Very beefy. Not sure how I feel about this one. Way too big. American Force wheels. I just not about that life. Other than that, you take those American Forces off, put some good bead locks on it. It'd be a sweet little JK Rubicon. ARB fridge in the back. This thing looks like it hasn't been off road a day in its life. I do like the drawer setup though. Here's a, another JT. JL Rubicon. Kind of dig the yellow color. You really don't see many vehicles that can pull off yellow, but a Jeep is definitely one that can pull off yellow. Looks like, looks like there's multiple yellow ones here. This one's pretty sweet. Looks like it has actually been off-road. There's a big dent in the back. I like that. Looks like it's the Miller Motorsports machine. I like the way they got the spare tire. Oh, it's got some rash over here. Put it up against a rock, maybe. It's got some rash on the back. So they actually use this thing. Some bead locks. Oh, these are only 35s. That's sad when today, when you say that's only 35s. I know 35s on my CJ look huge though. 35s on a JKJL, it's just not much anymore. I remember that Jeep from uh, Jeep Beach 2019. It's really nice. Here's the Ultimate Adventure 2018. This Jeep was on it. Dana 44 Adventech. Not heard of him. Pretty cool though. Blue Waffle. If you don't know what Blue Waffle is, look it up. Or don't, don't look it up. Don't look it up on school or public Wi-Fi. Looks like it's got a SRT Hellcat as well. Wow, that's nice. Big that. I even like the color. That blue is just, it pops. Here's the Dana Spicer JT. This is this is nice. It's got the half Rebel off-road bed rack in the back. I like the half better than the full. I feel like the full when you put a tent on top of it, just too high. It's got 40s. 40s are the new 35s apparently. Oh, and it's got some rock rash. And I've seen this thing on Instagram. I know it, it does get used. So here we go again. Here's the uh, JLU Rubicon. And don't think I'm hating on JLs, JKs. Like, they have their purpose, I, I love them. I mean, honestly, I would take one. <laughs> just, 
it's funny how many of them you see these days. And in the vendor area, that's about all you see these days. There's JLJT, JK, JKU. Um, it's crazy how well I think these vendors would do if they just brought back some of the classics. Cheaper's doing. That one's nice. It's got the Overland set up. It's got more Roto style packs. Oh, these are Daystar. Daystar packs. Half rack. Awning on the back. Here's a very clean JT. I'm digging that little rack right there. Just bed hot. That's nice. All blacked out. Rubicon. Red ring on the beadlock down there. So the line X people must like using TJs. Line X is pretty practical on the older Jeeps that you actually trail. You don't have to worry about scratches. There's a Rubicon JT with a Hellcat. There's a uh, JL, pretty sweet. Catskin, oh, this is the uh, leather seats I want to get for my truck. I just got cloth seats in it right now and I'd love to put like black leather in it. I've seen really good reviews on the Catskin stuff. It feels really good as well. I love that. Automatic. I even like brown. I love like the brown look of of leather on any color really. There's a big bruiser conversions uh, brute. Well that's nice. It's the chase truck. <laughs> that's slick. I like that a lot. Red ring bead locks. It's got a custom rack on the bed. Wow. Two spare tires, power tank, toolbox. Here's another bruiser conversion set up for uh, Baja style. That's cool. That's really cool. You don't see too many Jeeps set up for uh, Baja racing. Look at, look at the size of those fenders. That's huge. They don't have independent front though. They still have, looks like a 60. Still have a 60 in the front. Might be even, no, nah, it looks like a 60. Got the side pops out, out the side. So here's the metal cloak booth, and they brought their LJ. I love metal cloaks. If I uh, wouldn't take away from the classic look of the CJ, I'd give me some. These are the high riser style, the overline, I believe is what they're called. You don't have to run as tall of a lift if you have uh, flares like that. They really open up the wheel well. Here's the ARB booth. I have no clue why they brought a Tacoma to a Jeep event. As you can see, nobody's really around it. So here's the JL ARB machine here. It's pretty slick. Got the little four foot awning. Max track style tracks. Gear bag on their roof rack platform. That's cool. Got a lot of stuff towards overlanding at this event because overlanding in Jeeps has become pretty popular. Here's a JLU. It's got the ARB intensity lights. It's cost a small fortune. It's got the Safari snorkel. High lift on the top. That's like max tracks. Got the ARB four foot awning on the back. The ARB Zero fridge with a slide out platform. That's cool, that's real cool. Looks like they got an awning on this side too. I believe that's the awning that's on my truck. It's the 2000 millimeter series. Here's a pretty built JK. That's real nice. I like that a lot. It's got a supercharger in it. Look at these seats. Even the rear seats are snug. Those uh, Corbea style racing seats, it's called Braum. It's got the six speed in it. I like that even more now. Got the poison spider hood louver on the front, painted in the blue accent. Here's the Rebel off-road machine. See them on Instagram all the time. I think they've got about 200,000 in this Jeep. 
an automatic. Pretty nice though. I like the way they did the rear window, this hard top, put the roto packs in it, and got the two rigid lights mounted on the side. Put some serious money went into this thing. From California. Man, that was a haul. <laughs> I like that. You can't will with us. Must be a Karen. It's the Rebel Off-Road booth. Sorry that I'm not really showing you guys much what they have to offer. There's just way too many people gathered around and it's not really why I'm here. I want to show you guys the Jeeps, not really the booth itself. It's got a 270 Batwing awning. Oh, look at that. Yeah, they got a uh, bicycle on the side. That's extremely cool. So here's the Rebel, Rebel Off-Road JT. That's nice. Another automatic. I guess they get the automatic, so if you can't drive a stick and anybody at their vendor booth, vendor show uh, people can drive it. It's from Kentucky. Man. It's got Raptor Line Blue. I don't believe this one goes off-road much. That is, that is nice, extremely nice, but there's uh, not a scratch on it. Those seats. There's just a standard JLU Rubicon. There's a big light bar on the hood. Real big. Not sure how I feel about that. Super Chips, JK. Got the winch. More light bars. Light bars, light bars before the lockers here, folks. No, nah, I'm just joking. Lockers before the light bars. Definitely a JK. Quake LED. Never heard of them. Guy, that's a low riding JLU though. Low center of gravity. It's for sale. I like the low center of gravity look. Let's see. 2019, oh it's the two liter, only 16,000 miles. Don't say how much they want for it, but I guarantee it's a lot. So here's the Quake LED JT. Looks like a lot of Amazon special lights on it. Well, no, it's probably their own brand. Yeah, quick LED lights, that makes sense. Can't knock Amazon specials though, I have some. I'm actually gonna be doing a video on Amazon lights versus KC's, like high quality lights. So here's a Rubicon JT. It's got the turtleback trailer on the back of it. It's really cool. More Overland style setup. Got the roto packs and the half half rack, rhino rack. Looks like the 270 bat wing. It's all decked out. Really, really cool. Leather seats. That's nice. So here's the Rubicon, JT, it's got a uh, James Baird, never heard of him, James Baird tent on top. It's really cool, it's hard top style, go straight up, don't have to deal with the whole flip out. That did not sound like fun. Who is having fun? That's cool, don't know that it gets used very much, but that's really cool. Even got a color match snorkel. This thing is red everything. All right, let's keep making our way on down through here. There's the JK Rubicon. Or JKU Rubicon. That's nice. Armor all the way around it. I really like that. That's really, really clean. I like the black and white look on it. Got the uh, black soft doors. Half doors. King shocks on it. So I found this scrambler here. It's all color matched. Except for the hard top, got the color match roll bar, super clean in the back. Really, really nice. It's got the speed hook gauges inside, Baja seats. Very, very nice. Metal cloak fenders on it, 37 inch tires. Dana 44 up front. The Chevy 350 under the hood. The Warren VR Evo 10S winch. 
poison spotter bumper. A lot of lifting, man. A lot of lifting. This is nice. Looks like a TJ style mirror conversion. I've not seen that before. Maybe it's the YJ. YJ style mirror conversion. That's nice. Another view of the inside. So this is the CJ8. First uh, CJ I've seen so far at the event. And here's another JT. I've seen so many of them now. I don't even know, even know what to say. I do like how this one's got a bed cover and a rack. I like that. If I was to get one, I'd want a cover and a rack. Max tracks on the side. I'd much rather have that scrambler over there though. It's pretty sweet. This is Dr. Squatch. Dr. Squatch Adventures. That is a very, very nice. Yeah, that, some people are probably gonna make a drinking game out of how many times I say very, very, or that's super nice or anything like that because I, I've said it a lot here, but these Jeeps here at Jeep Beach 2021 are very, very nice. <laughs> so if you ever do get the chance to come out here, I mean, it's nice just to be able to see these things. It's got a cover on the back. It's got it all locked up. Can't see on the inside, tinted windows. Uh, those wheels right there are probably some of my favorites. Those are beadlock style. Uh, let's say KMC. I just like the machined beadlock look on uh, the newer Jeeps. So here's another JT. This one's the beige, uh, gosh, like the coffee creamer color. Can't remember the name of it. It's only took my tongue, like sandstorm color. Uh, this looks like it's on 40s. Yes, it's on 40s. Got the power step XL. Got the yay cooler in the back. That's real nice. Don't look like it goes off road. Got the king shocks. That's slick. I like that a lot. Okay, here we go. CJ10. Most people here probably don't even know what this Jeep is. So here's the CJ10. It's got a mile marker winch on the front, factor 55, fair laying. LED headlights on it. Wow. That is slick. Probably 35s. I believe that's 35 inch tires. That is nice. I'm digging that. It's got the uh, bed conversion on the back. Now, if you don't know about CJ10s, these were originally like military tugs. Let's peek inside here. Oh, it's got the split bench seat in the front. That's rare. That's cool, though. Looks like it's a uh, automatic. That's cool. There's more stuff across the street, just little stuff. Uh, um, I don't have time to film all that. This is already going to be a very long video. I'm trying to cut it down as much as I can, but I don't think there's much I'm going to be able to cut down. There's a lot of JKs. All right, there's a 6x6 conversion. That's pretty sweet. So here's something a little different. This looks like a TJ. Yeah, there's a pretty built TJ. Wow, I even like the color of it. All right, so this would probably be my second or third pick other than the Scrambler. And maybe that J3000, 4000 conversion. JK style bruiser. I like that a lot too, but this is this is sweet. I think this probably has 40s. Yes, it has 40s on it. 40s on TJs just look huge compared to 40s on new Jeeps. Here is a uh, iPad in the dash. That, that's cool. Don't, I don't know how I've ever seen a TJ with an iPad in it. There's the gas tank in the rear. That is nice. That's extremely nice. So here's the Kong Overland trailer. It's kind of hard to see on the on the video here. Anyway, that's pretty sweet. It's got a rooftop tent on top of it as well. Here's a JLU. Looks like Icon Dynamics JLU. It's a nice JT. Icon Vehicle Dynamics. I like the topographic style skin that's on the side of there. I went to school for surveying and mapping, so that uh, feels more personable to me. I like that. It's got the bed rack on the back. It's got the storage. That's, that's real nice. Man, I like the Gladiator swap style on these Gladiators, the old one. 
but that one's just huge wheels and it's not really my style. Wow, it's like buggy style. It's like it might have started as a JK maybe, or maybe a CJ, I don't even know. This is insane, fly off-road. I've not heard of them, but this is a crazy Jeep. Let's see what it, I can't even tell what it is based on here. This is fully custom built. Huge screen in there. Do some serious stuff with that machine. Wow. Fox coolovers, bead locks. It's pretty sweet. Let's see what uh, size tires running. 40s. Running BF Goodrich 40s in the rear. Looks like a different touch style tire in the front. Still 40 though. KC lights in the front, just like on my Jeep. That's slick. Look at that bump stop. <laughs> That's crazy. I need to know how much that thing was too. I like the color of that JK, or JLU, sorry. I just like that color. I think that's the Snazberry color. Here's a, here's a Rubicon LJ. That's nice. Stinger off-road. Let's see if they've done much to it. Looks like a mild build. It's an automatic. It's pretty cool. It's a nice YJ. It's the Islander edition. Put the surfboard on the front of it. Rusty windshield. I had a YJ and the windshield was the only thing that was rusted on it. It's probably a local Jeep. Let's see here. Let's see where it's from. Yep, state of Florida. It's a local Jeep. That makes sense. So, oh my lord. Didn't even realize this huge JT behind me. Wow. That's, uh, that's aggressive. 43 inch tires. That is absolutely huge. Let's check out the inside. Automatic. Nothing too special on the inside. This thing is, is built. Warren winch on the front. Dana 60 in the, in the front with the PCS. Hydro assist. Well, that's a wrap for Jeep Beach Vendor Day 1. I uh, hope you enjoyed some of the content that I showed you. I uh, didn't really get to check much of the booths uh, out because I was filming a lot, so I didn't see anything really CJ related, but a lot of JTs, JLs, so, uh, and JKs still. It's, overall, it's still a great event, but uh, stick around for upcoming videos because I'm going to show you guys the actual parking lot because we do have CJs out in the parking lot. They're just really not inside the vendor area. So that'll be another video to come, and I'm gonna break this series into multiple videos, actually. So just uh, bear with me over the next few weeks, or multiple weeks, I'm gonna break this into multiple different videos. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy this, and uh, let me know, like and subscribe, leave a comment, and uh, let me know what you think of everything. You know, when it comes to Jeeps, keep it classic.